82 degrees. That partly cloudy, mostly cloudy. Who knows? Well, I don't know if I like my setup. But what I did today was, uh, I don't get out here to like noon. That's my new starting time. I'm thinking about starting at uh, 11 at night. Work till like 7 in the morning when it's cool. I used to work midnight so it shouldn't be that hard. So just for uh, shits and giggles. I'm moving stuff around again. No, actually what I'm doing is uh, weighing this stuff up. Um, and then I'm going to check with the yard and see what prices are. Um, I usually get a little bit more because I bring in a crap load of stuff. So I moved all this stuff and weighed it all up so far. So I had to break the motors down so I could move the damn barrels. It's surprising how fast this stuff adds up. Surprising, surprising. And I still have that gray barrel. I swear to God, I just heard somebody whisper in my ear. Um, this gray barrel is full of wire that I have to do yet. So that'll probably get uh, added to the pile. I'm probably not going to take it in until next week. Cause I still have some stuff I want to add to it, but uh, just kind of get an idea of where I'm at with today's prices. Oh. About a few little odds and ends yesterday to add to my board sort pile. You know, like a reel to reel or something. Eight millimeter. Some old shit. So what's this bucket weigh? Ah. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to cut the end. I have to separate it anyway. Because I have to get all this ribbon wire out of there. But. This is a ballpark figure. Ugh. Where are we at? About 97. Minus 17 is what? Uh, no, it's that 96. So 86. Uh, about 79 pounds, something like that. Some additional wire. Um, this stuff I get 75 cents a pound for. All of this because I just mix it all up. So, but you know, I bought all this crap yesterday for like 20 bucks. That's the motherboard so right now I'm looking at for wire I have 176 pounds of wire motors I have 587 pounds ACRs is 420 and the um, extruded aluminum is 274 so ACRs were a dollar 44 um, wire was 75, motors were 20, and MLC was 46. So I'll add all that up later and see. But I still have like uh, uh, those batteries that have to go. I've got that aluminum over there that has to go. Those I beams. There's a couple heavy pieces on the floor, there's a couple heavy pieces under there. Uh, that bucket of starters and alternators, there's two crates of uh, transformers, stainless, still had to clean these ACRs up, 
got to take the motors out of those. I think that's only like three or four motors there. Um, still have that cat, so that's a hundred bucks right there. And whatever else I can... Uh... Oh, and I got that bucket of aluminum over there. Behind the garage, I'll take that. Um, this breakage, I have to weigh that up. Just out of curiosity. Um, each of these cans is 34 pounds. So they're all full. Uh, let's see what else can I take. Anything? Anything? I can't take those as motors because the metal has to come off the top of them. It won't take them like that. Got a little bit of aluminum lane over here so I can get rid of that. Um, copper, I'm not going to take that. I don't really have, I mean, I have enough to take, I just don't want to take it. I think there's a little bit of aluminum in here. Yeah. Connector ends. I don't really have a lot of brass. Um, this can actually just get a thrown in the bucket and taken when I go. And the ribbon wire. Which has a little bit of weight to it, so I'd probably take that. Um I'm trying to think what else garbage was today so I'll crack the uh, glass off of these get those out of here get those aluminum windows behind the garage uh, this stupid chair uh, yeah the more I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about maybe just clearing house uh, just get rid of all this crap and uh, I'm afraid to put my money in the bank or my PayPal because that keeps getting hacked so, it's more of a pain in the ass than what it's worth. So, and probably those sealed units, I'll probably take those in. Um, that was the barrel I was talking about. Those three aluminum windows right here. Get those cleaned up. Um, maybe work on these three things. And I'm thinking if Shredder's, um, I don't know, I think I think it went up to five. I think it's back to five. I'll have to check with him later. Um, I might just get rid of it. Get a clean start, because I have that whole pile. Got this stuff here. A couple of these uh, CRTs are going to go in there. Uh, just get this stuff cleaned up. And move on. I was going to take this apart, but this is going to go like that. Just like it is. Yeah, it's got a few motors, but that thing's heavy. And this scooter's probably going to go. But, uh, that's about it on what I'm doing. This stuff, man. I put this uh, this one here on the scale and it was like 222 pounds. I was like, well, anyway, it's got to have water in it. So I transferred some of it to here so I could flip this over and drill holes in the bottom. There was no water in it. So, so yeah, I'm just going to, like I said, um, just added that stuff there up because I have the prices for that. And like I said, he usually will give me a little kick up on the, the price because I bring a bunch of it. So, but like transformers, I'm not going to weigh. The stainless, I'm not going to weigh. Those are probably separate. And that aluminum here, I'm not going to weigh. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do is maybe rent like a 15-foot truck that has the uh, lift on it, the ramp. And just wheel that shit up in there. Up in there. And uh, load it up and clear it out. And uh, go from there. And we'll see what we get. I don't know. I just don't know. Shut up. Yeah, I was playing with some stackers last night. So, got a bunch of these cut out as well. 
that one just gonna that one's rough. I don't know if the wire wheel will get that out of there. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. Um, calculator. All right, so let's do let's do this real quick. So wire is at seventy five cents. Uh, point seventy five times one seventy six. All right, so the wire would be that. I'll show you this when I'm done. Stand there, look at my drill. Um, okay, so let's clear that. I'm doing this on my, doing it on the computer. <laughs> uh, point twenty on motors times five, eight, seven. Yeah, eleven thousand dollars for motors. I don't think so. Point two zero times five eight seven. Okay. One one seven forty. Uh clear that and we'll do one forty four for ACRs times. Wow. ACRs will pay good. And MLC is point forty six, I think you said, yeah, forty six times two seventy four. Twenty six oh four. So just what's pretty much in the driveway. Um Will be hold on one minute. Nine hundred and eighty dollars. So that's the wire. This is the motors. That's the ACRs. That is the uh, MLC. So nine eighty. That's just what's in the driveway. So that's not adding, you know, like I said, that's aluminum there. Just a couple little radiators in there I forgot about. Um, the breakage transformer, stainless, plus whatever I add on to this pile. So hopefully 12, 1300 by the time it's all said and done. And. Then debate on whether to take the uh, shred in. The shred. So I could have even at four cents. What's four cents a pound? No, five cents a pound. That's a uh, hundred a ton. So there's got to be three ton there. Close to it. So there's another three hundred. So. And I'm going to dig through the basement because there's a bunch of crap down there. Um, that I could just throw out. And uh, get rid of that. Oh, and that little bucket of brass. I don't know what they're paying for, but I was going to keep this, but I'm probably going to get rid of it. It's actually made in 1964. I think older than dirt. It looks like it's brand new. So, yeah, now that I added that up, and like I said, he'll, you know, usually gives me a little more, so. But I want to go through here and, uh, See what kind of easy uh, stuff I have. Like that motor there can come off of there. Um, I could probably take that apart. Oh, and I got a, that barrel of cast aluminum too. So I could probably pull that out. And get that done. Here's one of Chris's board sorts. Uh, little corner deals that he just loves so much. This is all crap. Got to be gotten through. Got to be gotten through. I to cast aluminum in there, but I ain't got time to go through that. I don't know what's in that milk crate. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, those can go in the shred pile. That's a battery backup, so I'll take the batteries out of that. There's another battery backup right there, and there's one right here. So there's a few more batteries to add. Got me all windy. I'm winded anyway. I can sit and do nothing for three hours, and I'm puffing and puffing. Puffing and puffing. That can go in the shred pile. No wire in there. But like I said, I'm not gonna probably uh get some transformers and stuff in there. Um I'm not gonna take this stuff till next week. So maybe like Tuesday. Ouch! I'll get the truck uh like Tuesday, Wednesday. So that'll be two days. So if I get a Monday, I don't have to have it back till like Thursday. Look at that. Everyday solars. Those are going in the trash can. See, there's more breakage in here. The whole crap load of these. There's one, two, three. Who knows? So, that's what I'm going to do. Or do you think I should sit on the shit? I don't care either way. There's another piece of brass. Let me know what you think. Here's another piece of brass. Here's another piece of brass. Here's some more cast aluminum. Isn't it amazing? <clears throat> the things I find. The things I find. So, yeah, let me know. Should I uh, take it in? I still got some money, so I'm not broke. <laughs> I uh, actually went and took a bunch of money out of my uh, bank because I don't really trust uh, people anymore, which is sad, but it's the way it is. So, let me know your thoughts. And um, stay safe. Appreciate y'all. I'll talk to you later.